Uh, Gaffer, um, transfer deadline day today. We'll get to that in a moment because we've also got a game coming up. It's a stressful time of, of the week, I imagine. Um, Derby, obviously a very, very big team in this, in this league. How, how have you seen them so far this year? They're good. Um, yeah, got some really good players. We've seen that as soon as they started signing players over the summer when obviously all of the takeover and whatever went through. Um, yeah, good players, good team. Obviously, a huge sold out Pride Park. It's going to be a good game, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm sure the players are as well. Yeah, it's it's amazing that what are we seven or eight games into the season? We've we've already played the three sides that have come down from the championship. I mean, yeah. it's we we mentioned at the start of the year it's on paper a tough start, but these are the games you want, aren't they? Yeah, that's been a tough start. It's been really difficult to pick up the points that we've got. We've had to graft in every single game to get them points, and Saturday will be no different. We're going to have to be right at our very best to go and get something from, from Derby. As I say, they've got excellent players. Um, I think they will get stronger as the year goes on, probably similar to what Sheffield Wednesday were um, last season. And yeah, it's going to be a hard game, but we've just got to go there and with no fear. As I've said, we've played a couple of the relegated teams from the Championship last season and done well. And we've got to go there and give it our best again on Saturday because we feel as though when we're at our best, we're, we're a match for anyone. And, with our travelling fans behind us, then we'll have some good energy, hopefully, as well. Yeah, you mentioned the atmosphere. I mean, we've sold well over 2,000. They get nearly 30, don't mm -hmm. they, at home games. It's going to be almost like a Premier League sort of game. Isn't it? It's going to be brilliant, yeah. And these are the type of games, as a player, that you proper look forward to. It's the, like, you look at it, and I don't know whether many of our players have played at Pride Park yeah, I'm not sure, but... You know, it's one of them that when the fixture list come on, I I seen it. Okay, when do we play Derby County, and it's here. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. Excited, and uh, we're going to give it our best. It's another new manager as well. Yeah, another one. <laughs> like like we said last week, seem that's all we've got. And again, it all adds to the to the challenge. Um, seeing how they play, they play some lovely football. They got loads of good movement. They've got good players that complement that that shape and that system, but. But they're only human, and they're in our division as well. So we'll go there and give it our best, and hopefully we come out on top. You mentioned how kind of well they've started. We are just above them in the table, so we've started well as well. So you know th there is no fear, I presume. No, I think um, look, we, we wanted to make sure we we had no hangover from last season. We all remember how, how that ended, but we, we had to remember also that we played really well. We got 80 points mm. in League One, and we just didn't want that to be look, looked at as though it was a fluke because it wasn't. We had to work incredibly hard for that and starting this season that was our, our mindset well come on it wasn't flashing the pan we need to improve and get better we feel as though the players we've brought in has helped we have got a better squad um, and we're getting stronger as the games go I don't think our performances have been top top draw yet there's still loads to improve on especially in the new system but we're doing okay and we've picked up some good points and we want to just try and continue it for as long as possible does that is that a, a really good thing in a way? Because we spoke before the, the Bolton game about it, you know, potentially being a really tight one. And after the game, you know, it might not have been the absolute max performance, but clinical scored two goals. Is it exciting that there is still, you know, there is still more to come from the side? Definitely, yeah. There's loads of improvement to do. As I say, we've done, we've done well in a load of the games in certain aspects, all for spells. And that's just how the season always pans out. Throughout it, probably you don't get play the same every single game, four to six games, so yeah, sat last Saturday against Bolton we wasn't great with the ball but we were very good defensively, we come out on top in the majority of the duels, we didn't give them too many clear cut opportunities, it was a tight game and as I said we were clinical and I think the top end of the table in League One games, they're almost like championship games, there's championship clubs in the division, there's Premier League clubs, ex Premier League clubs in the division so the games are always tight and it's the teams who look after both boxes and score when you get your chances and be clinical that that'll come out on top and do the best. How important was Tuesday night as well for you know getting well keeping the momentum going and, and also getting some extra minutes in place? Yeah it was good because I thought Tuesday night was good because we um, we passed the ball loads better again it was a it was a real good game of football it was end to end there was like 30 odd shots in the game it was, it was a good game entertaining to watch and it give players a little bit of confidence of, I say, being a bit more accurate with the passing. As you say, a few players started the game that needed to start, and now they're ready to to be involved on Saturday. So, really good. I enjoyed, and obviously the the, the major plus from Tuesday night was the young players, wasn't it? Brilliant. Like 
Oscar Halls and Jack and Will JD were, were outstanding and Freddie getting on the pitch as well at 16 still so mm. brilliant night all round and to win it on pens yeah great would have liked to have won it in normal time but to win it on pens was good too uh, I mentioned at the start it is deadline day must be your favourite day <laughs> Um, <laughs> my favourite day of the half eleven when it's finished. Yeah. We've, we have added to the squad today, Sam Cotsgrove coming in. Do you yeah. want to talk to us a little bit about him? Yeah, delighted that, um, that Sam has joined. He's come on board, he gives us that physical presence at the top end of the pitch that we haven't got. Um, we haven't had for a few years, so we felt that with the strikers that we had, he would complement um, the team and make us better. So. You know, he went out on loan last year to the two League One teams and it wasn't uh, an easy time for him. Went to two teams where he didn't get many chances, but his overall game when we looked at his data was good. His, um, his duels that he won, his, uh, his aerial win percentage was good. His data was of linking the play was really good. He just didn't score the goals, but when you looked at the teams he played for, he played for two teams that were 22nd and 23rd in the league for touches in the opposition box and we were second in the league at touches in the opposition box so if we can get him in the area put balls in the box for him then he gives us a different option of yeah. scoring a goal and on, and on that is it is it also just about having something a little bit different to what to what we have definitely because I say Ryan Niall Luke they've all got different qualities and none of them have got what Sam's got they're not none of them are six foot four and can hold the ball up and be a bit more of a, an outlet or a target or would that be more of a threat than him if the ball goes wide and we cross it high into the box rather than having to go low all the time so yeah having that variation and that you know that a different type of number nine then that's going to, going to make us stronger just finally we we're halfway through the day so there's probably still time for other things to be done Mm -hmm. is, is there anything likely to happen in the rest of today? Yeah, obviously, look, with, with Sam coming in the building, that's, that's going to give Luke Jepcott probably you know, less game time. He's been not getting on the pitch the last couple of games and it's probably not, gonna, not ideal for Luke that. So Luke will be going out. Um, I think it's important that he goes and plays games because he's that type of striker that needs to play. He needs a run of games. He's not one that can necessarily be a massive impact off the bench that's not his style so he needs chances and we just felt that it'd be the best thing for him to go out and go and get some game time and he'll have a few options I'm sure because he's a good player with a great record in League 1 and League 2 so um, yeah I think he'll, he'll be moving out but as you say there's half a day to go and still a lot of paperwork to be signed. <laughs> and you'll be pleased when we get to the end of it. Can't wait. Thanks for speaking to us Gary. Thank you.